Brian has worked and has had various roles over 15 years of career. He is currently Director of Planning and Strategy and Infrastructure at Verizon. So I should be a really fun use case for the translators today, uh, only because I'm just getting over a case of laryngitis, and I have a habit of speaking English very quickly. So if you guys hear words like giraffe and burrito pop up in my presentation, you'll never know if I put them there intentionally, or if it's because the translators just misunderstood me. So uh, that said, I'm actually up here to talk to you guys about a service that VeriSign offers uh, in support of a couple of key DNS services that we operate. Uh, one of them is uh, two of the, uh, are, sorry, one of the root DNS servers, and uh, the other is uh, one of the uh, ComNet authoritative DNS servers. So just as some background in terms of what VeriSign does, uh, VeriSign operates two of the 13 root DNS servers, uh, A root and J root. Uh, and this service actually provides an instance of JRoot. Uh, on top of that, we, uh, we also operate all 13 authoritative DNS servers for the .com and .net top level domains. And that's a through m.gtld-servers.net. Um, obviously, as, as everyone in this room knows, uh, both of those uh, systems are, are fairly key elements of the overall DNS infrastructure. So that said, uh, what is the RIRS? Um, historically, the RIRS was actually a much larger installation. It was about half a rack with some routers and some servers and a bunch of other cabling. Uh, VeriSign embarked on a journey about a year ago to really redesign what the platform is and how it works. And uh, the result is just a 1U appliance. So it's basically just a single commodity server fits into a single rack unit. And it provides an instance of JRoot, uh, which is the root DNS server, and BGTLD, which is one of the 13 authoritative DNS servers for .com and .net. It's designed to be deployed in one of two ways, uh, either embedded inside of an ISP's network um, or at an IXP. It works in both modes. And uh, inside our provisioning portal, you have the option to choose one or the other. It's very simple. Uh, the box behaves just like a standard BGP peer. You plug it in, peer with it, and it hands you a couple of prefixes uh, that contain those particular DNS server uh, addresses. So why do you want one? Uh, this is an easy answer. Well, DNS, as we said, is pretty important. Uh, I, I think we'd all agree on that point. And the best part is, who doesn't want free stuff, right? Free stuff is the best kind of stuff. And this is a, this is a system that we offer to our partners completely free. Uh, your users will love you. If they don't love you already, they'll love you even more. Uh, and the reason is because uh, the closer, obviously, you put these nodes to your recursive DNS servers, the faster transactional latency, or the, sorry, the lower transactional latency you'll see to, uh, for queries to ComNet and hopefully the root as well. Um, the other side of this is obviously we live in a world where DDoS is an unfortunate reality. So DDoS events, congestion, outages, they really don't impact your ability to reach mission critical DNS services that you need to operate your infrastructure. Most important question of the day, how do you get one? It's really, really easy. So th there's a web page right up there. Uh, if you guys go to that URL, you'll get a list of tech requirements, a description of the service, and also a link to the provisioning portal where you can uh, sign up for an account and go through a couple of steps and request one. So the process is entirely automated. And we have a pretty good team backing up the, uh, the portal as well that stands ready to assist you guys. So if anyone's interested, uh, please uh, head to that URL and have a look. Um, obviously, the way, we, the way we structure the service is VeriSign provides you guys the server for free. We operate it, run it, maintain it, upgrade it, do all the, all the uh, care and feeding it requires, and you guys provide the space, power, and connectivity, you guys being our prospective partners. Uh, some of you in the room uh, already have these. You have older versions of these, and you probably want to upgrade them. In fact, you want to upgrade them. Um, and the way you do that is uh, just email that address uh, right there, rirs-help at verisign.com. Um, we can help you that way. Or you can simply request a new node uh, via the portal URL that's right there, and uh, we will uh, go through the upgrade process with you as a result of that. Uh, once that's done, Verisign will come and pick up the old equipment, and um, that's pretty much that. So in summary, RIRS, it's a good thing. Uh, it gives you ComNet and root. We love that. Um, we provide the hardware for free. You provide the connectivity. And if you guys have questions, go to the website. It's pretty complete and has a lot of good data. Um, and if there are any other questions, I'd be happy to take them right now. Alguna pregunta para, para Ryan? 
Any questions for Ryan? Okay. Oh. Hi, this is Carlos Martinez from LACNIC. Uh, my question is uh, like a logistic one. Uh, do you ship the equipment yourselves? Do the prospective partners have to buy equipment? Yes, we ship it to you. Okay. Basically, in the portal, when you sign up for, for a node, uh, you'll provide us a shipping address, and our shipping partner will, will get the equipment right to your doorstep. Right. And uh, it's probably on the, on the web page, but uh, it may be useful for the audience here whether you expect the box to run BGP, one peer, two peer, just upstream. Uh, so the, it depends on how you deploy it. If you deploy it um, in that mode that I discussed where it's basically embedded inside of an IP network, it's essentially just a transit relationship. Um, if it's deployed inside of an IXP, we'll appear with, all, with route servers as well as all the different members. Okay. Thank you very much. Sure, thank you. ¿Alguna otra pregunta? Muchas gracias, Ryan. Thank you, guys. Un aplauso. Nuestra siguiente presentación.